All right, well, it gets situated here, and uh, we got a boogie. We got a boogie, 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 boogie. Oh boy, boy. Ah, right, here we go. How about we do a little tug? That's good enough. And here we go. It never ceases to amaze me how a billion dollar company like Kroger's and a lot of these receivers cannot properly maintain their parking lot full of potholes, dust bowl, I mean, even the crickets. GPS wants me to make a right. You know what we could do? We could do this. trucks go straight, no truck go right, no truck go left. So today is, uh, what is today? Wednesday, right? Yeah, Wednesday, 
May 20th, 2020. The temperature here is 81 degrees. Now we gotta go straight and then right on Tarant Parkway. Keller, Texas. We are now in Fort Worth. Oh, look, there's dampers. That looks exactly like dampers. Look at that. Hey, boy. I have one just like you! Yeah! He looks exactly like him! Yeah! Uh-huh! Except this one doesn't have a tail. Bow, 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 bow. <laughs> 
Also made you sad. <laughs> yeah, right. Or those mixed emotions. Woo. I tell you what, before tampers, I wasn't much of a pet owner. I mean, I, I didn't. I did not not like them or I didn't, you know, it was okay. But this, when tampers lived in our house for, you know, since the beginning and more and more time and time, oh, he started to grow on me. He's kind of like a, kind of like a sycamore tree growing, you know, he planted a little seed in my heart, and uh, at first it was okay, and it kept growing and growing and growing, and next thing I know, a big old tree, you know, what was the seed is now rooted, <laughs> yeah, yeah, dogs can really do that, right? I remember Long Hall area when when he had to put his uh, black lab Yogi when he had to put Yogi down. Boy, that really that really took it out of him, you know. I mean, at first, you know, a long time ago, we've all seen, we've all seen TV shows and movies where these filthy rich people would leave their wealth to a dog or a pet. And I would always, always thought, you gotta be nuts, you know, what's wrong with these people? I mean, I, I don't think I would ever... <laughs> I don't think I would ever fall for that kind of uh, magnitude, but yeah, I, I, I can see it, you know, I can, I can certainly sympathize, I suppose is the word. I can sympathize of how it would happen. On the other darker side of, uh, well, it shouldn't be. It really isn't. It really isn't dark. I think a lot of you are also listeners of Ravi Zacharias. Ravi Zacharias was born in India. And at the age of 17, he committed suicide. Failed miserably at it. He came close. 
but when he was uh, recovering in the hospital uh, he was born a Hindu while recovering at the hospital somebody dropped off a, uh, a Bible at the age of 17 and uh, he was he was saved that day and dedicated his life to being a, a preacher and apologetic and Robbie is one of the smartest most eloquent speaker of all the preachers that I know he's the kind of guy that with his background in science and background in theology, philosophy, he could he could converse and argue with the best of the best, the best of atheists out there, the best of naysayers. And he would always find a way to put them in their place. Uh, I guess he died uh, sometime either yesterday, today, or within a couple of days. And I find myself saying congratulations, Robbie. I guess he, he was battling with a uh, rare form of cancer. I'm not sure I'm going to miss him, you know. But, gee, many crickets, can you imagine? Just allow yourself just to imagine for a moment. Though what the Bible is true. Just allow yourself, just to imagine. Not, it's not gonna hurt you, okay? Just imagine for a moment, a tiny little moment of your time to allow that the Bible is true and that he is with the Lord right now in eternal bliss. No more sadness, no more tears, eternal joy. And you know what's the best part of it? Other than being with the Lord, the best part is he doesn't have to control his soul, himself. He doesn't have to resist the temptations to do anything. Because he is perfect. Everything he does is perfect and everything he does is content regardless of what it is. You ever notice that the best, the, the worst trait in man is that our lack of contentment is the one that drives us nuts. We're not contented with the things that we have. We're not contented with the life we, we live. Sometimes we're not even contented with our children or our wives or our husbands. But imagine just for a moment that we are capable of being contented to ultimate perfection. It's hard to imagine, right? How, how can such thing be? Here, here's here's somewhat of an analogy. Okay, there are there are different grades of rewards in heaven. There are everybody that goes to heaven will be in heaven, but not everybody in heaven will be rewarded equally. I mean, there are those that labored all their lives do the work of the, you know, the work and the will of the Lord. And there are those who just got saved moments before their death. 
there are stages, different stages of reward. As the Bible verses said, that, you know, what one was given a dollar, he gave two dollars. The other one, three dollars, or three pennies, or whatever, gave three, six, and ten, and so there are different levels of rewards in heaven. There are different responsibilities, I guess. What I'm trying to say is there are going to be people in authority in heaven over somebody. And even if you were at the very lowest of the totem pole, totem pole, you are absolutely, positively, just contented with it. Here on this life, we live as, if we live as a doctor, and if we live as a janitor, you know, society dictates that everybody looks down on the janitor, because the doctor is supposed to be a higher, higher hierarchy, uh, higher whatever. But just imagine that we can live in an existence where it doesn't matter whether you're a scientist or a lone toilet bowl cleaner. You have absolutely no regret no problem, no envy, so back to Robbie Zacharias, I find myself saying, congratulations Robbie, now he knows everything there is to know about the world's history. if anyone would celebrate the demise of anyone, right? In a negative way, anyway. Remember folks, you can live the life you want, that's between you and God. I may not agree with your lifestyle or your decision, but I can respect it. I just hope and pray that you can give me the same courtesy, or anyone for that matter. I mean, take yourself for example. Take take these people on on YouTube that they think that they're it. They're they're the epitome of human being. They're absolutely perfection. And everybody else is, you know, either don't don't deserve to breathe. an absolute idiot, you know, they, that's, they think everybody else is an idiot, they're the smartest. Take these people and make clones out of them and make the whole world just exactly to their likeness. What a sad world would that be? I mean, we all, we all are, are lovers of ourselves in certain 
great, right? I mean, we we think ourselves that uh, you know we're we're a certain blah blah blah. But my goodness, I wouldn't want anybody. I wouldn't want any anyone else out there in the world to be another me. I wouldn't want to see another me out there. <laughs> crazy how some of these people would just I don't know man it's just they're so angry all the time Exit 22B, Texas 121.
I see a water tower that says Bedford. So welcome to Bedford, Texas. Temperature is 83 degrees. Oh, the current odometer, it is 254142.4. Two five four one four two point six. Oh, I heard that uh, a lot of people in Michigan are having some issues with uh, flooding. Oh my! You know, one of our. Uh, one of my wife's family friend, our family friend, their sump pump uh, quit working. A sump pump is a water pump that goes in your basement and it sucks the water out to keep your uh, basement from flooding. And when that doesn't work, then you get a flooded basement. Fortunately, about a couple of months ago, I bought a <laughs> I bought a humongous, really big water pump, uh, sump pump, and that thing right now has been sucking water like crazy. Texas used to be, um, I'm not sure if they're still there or not, but there used to be a terminal for WEL in Irving, Texas. One of the things that I liked about it is there was a Whataburger, uh, I don't know, a couple miles out. I don't know if they're, that terminal is still there or not.
Dallas.
sure love their pickup trucks out here in Texas.
Interstate 30 East towards Texarkana. Twice as nice. I guess we're going to go straight. I know some of you are, don't care for this view, you know, the cab. Some of you do, so I'm just trying to mix it all up a little bit, you know. That way I can somewhat please everyone once in a while. Tell you what, it's a full-time job. <laughs> I know I can't please everyone. I gotta try it all, right? That's always been my weakness. Is I'm I'm a crowd pleaser, I suppose. Okay, Texarkana, we go straight. We go straight. Stay on this lane, stay on this lane. major major rain here would say from this point you know the rest of the story so I'll let you guys go as always thank you so much for watching God willing we'll see you tomorrow later whatever that is wherever that is have a good and godly day everyone thank you thank you thank you God to be good here peace That's a wrap.